What's going on, foodie fam? Welcome back to the best and worst rated restaurants right here in my state. I'm your main man, Dame Drops. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, Psh, Dame Drops is back again. Look here, man. The other day, we had a slide and get up on the best chili bowl restaurant in my state. It was good. It, it was real good, actually. The whole man, like, just the flavors. I, I can still taste it in my mouthpiece, but... That also means we have to go and do the worst chili in my state. And they're talking about a spot called Blue Plate Tavern in uh, Plainville, Connecticut. Let's go ahead and read some of these reviews. From what I see from the reviews, it don't look that bad. But, you know, never judge a book by its cover, as we've learned before. So let's go ahead and read these good reviews, I guess. First one is a four star. Great local bar. Owners and bartenders are very nice. Drinks were awesome and not overpriced. And they have the best lemon pepper wings, baby. Ooh, some good lemon pepper wings. I, I need some of those. I ain't even mad at you. Lemon pepper wings, some chili. That, that sounds kind of sexy if you ask me. Or fat. Don't matter. Next one. Two star. Nice place if you like expensive drinks. Young kids who live to text, take selfies, and listen to rap and hip-hop. But good food, not enough parking. Hey, man, each to their own. Everybody has their own personal opinion. We don't hate on nobody. But, uh... My man's like, you know, prejudgmental in the game, but it is what it is. Uh, Lisa said the food was good. Yeah. Next one, five star. Stopped at the Blue Tavern the other night. What a great place. Very, very clean, courteous and friendly staff, creative, tasty, reasonable tavern fare with numerous daily specials and killer seasoned French fries. Drinks are reasonable, ample and fairly priced while beer is always ice cold. They also cover all the bases with things to do, karaoke, darts, pool table, etc. The Blue Plate is Plainville's version of Cheers, where everyone knows your name. I love this place. It's what a tavern should be. Drop by, I'm sure you'll like it. So it sounds like, you know, great drinks, great food, great vibe, a place where everybody wants to be. I like that, but is the chili good? Let's go ahead and read one more and then slide on over to Blue Play Tavern. Last one, five star. We came back again and we're not disappointed. We were treated so well. I'm sure we'll be back again. I met a group of my old friends here. The staff was very accommodating and friendly. The young lady that took our orders was great. She was very busy, but always kept a smile on her face. The food came out quickly. All eight of us got our food at the same time, and everything was very good and prepared exactly the way we asked for it. What a great little neighborhood bar. There it is, y'all. All right, sounds great. Even though this is supposed to be the worst rated chili restaurant in my state, it sounds as if everything else about this spot is right on point, even some of the food. But what about that chili? Let's go find out. And the only way to get there from here, you know what we got to do is cue the music. Fam, so we're out here right now at 180 Woodford Ave, Plainville, Connecticut, at Blue Plate Tavern. We read them reviews already. I'm over here trying to cross the street carefully, but we read the reviews already. Everybody has everything positive to say at the end of the day. But uh, you know, we here for the chili game, man. Is the chili game as bad, or is it even better than the chili game we just had the other day? I don't know. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. You know what happens next. Good, how are you doing? Good. So, yeah. What you doing some wings? So I'm coming, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I, need, I need chili. Chili? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. that's gonna be a problem. We don't have any. We're coming into the end I of our chili season. Oh, coming to the end of it? Yeah. Okay. All right. And I'd rather have you have some fresh chili. All right, all right. Ugh. All right, fam. So, their ladies were saying that maybe a little bit later on today, they'll have the chili ready but i have things i got to do later on today so we're just going to go to another spot that i had issues 
with the chili. Now I've seen some of the reviews. Reviews are heavy on the five star piece. So I don't know if things got better, but we're gonna find out because it was definitely worse when I slid up off in that spot, you know what I mean? So sit back, relax, and comfortable. We're about to hide, head on over to Capital Lunch. Ooh, y'all know the vibes, man. Out here about to slide over here to Capital Lunch. And uh, hopefully change has been made, baby. Hopefully they got it all the way together because last time it wasn't all the way together. But according to all these reviews and all these five stars, y'all see the five stars, I ain't even gonna read nothing. I'm gonna take y'all through the reading part again. You see all the five stars that's trying to say that this joint's amazing, man. I uh, mean, I don't even know if that's what it's hitting on, but that's what we're about to find out. Capital Lunch, New Brand, Connecticut. Let's go. Okay, this is supposed to be my, 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 this must be my grilled cheese joint right here. All uh, right, looking slim and slender. You doing on a diet. Yo, you got the chili dog. Oh, I got chili dog? I got chili dog, right? Mm -hmm. Chili dog activity. All right, fam, so we got those McDonald's-like shoestring fries right there. They look good in the hood, and we already know how we feel about McDonald's golden fries. So it looked like they got these straight from that McDonald's Flex. That means the fries gotta be banging out the frame. Mmm. Not good. Mmm. The fries are right on time. No what's necessary. This is the grilled cheese. This is about the thinnest grilled cheese I've ever seen in my life. But you really can't expect much with a grilled cheese because, you know, cheese is already thin. And, uh,. Whew. This is like smash burger grilled cheese activity. This thing has been pressed. So I'm gonna call this the grilled cheese press right here. I'm not mad at it. It looked like it might be a little banger out the frame, like a little grilled cheese pancake when you look at it family, huh? It looked buttery too. Mm -hmm. um, for what it is and for what it's worth, a very light crust on it. Cheese is okay. This one right here is definitely a mid, mid-level grilled cheese activity right here. Decent. All right for what it is. Thin bread, pressed down. A decent little bite on the go. Family, we've been here before. But this one, mmm. A straight chili dog. Now this is their chili to go. And I can't really review the chili to go because I feel that it's cold. So I think this is when individuals order a pint to go and they get the chili pretty much as is without really kind of being heated up or anything just something that you can heat up at home so i won't review that per se but i will review it on the hot dog being the fact that it is cooked on the dog and this is the chili that's ooh, you a greasy little boot thing ain't you baby they're chili on the dog this is how i'm gonna take it down glizzy gob style you feel me we had to get the chili. Love the hot dog. Oh, I really don't know what it is, fam. Soft dog activity. I love the softness on the bun, the snap on the dog. Great hot dog in flavor. I can't get with the chili. It's grimy chili, the chili. The chili, I feel like it stole on me on my flavors. It's like, it's just too gritty for me, too bland. And I already know if I go ahead and, is this cold? This is cold, right? Yeah, that's dumb cold. That's like frozen. So that's the kind of chili you gotta heat up later. Well, I won't even bother with it. But more than likely this is what that is. And if this, is what that is, or this is what that is, then it's gonna go to that man right there. You know what I'm saying? He can go ahead and take that home with him. I can't get down with it. I can't, I can't, family. I'm still upset. New Britain is delusional when they think this is the greatest chili in the world. It's not, it's not. It just needs to be rebranded. It's just, it's like a chili that's been ground up, like coffee ground, but it has, it has again, that raw, earthy taste to it, no wild spices, none that's kicking back at you. Take this to Yelp, bong bong. All right fam, so we are back from Capital Lunch. Like I said, unfortunately, even though chili was on the menu at Blue Plate Tavern, they were saying that they were coming to the end of their chili season and that they didn't have any chili available. And if I came back later in the day, I'd be able to get some chili that I guess they were gonna make some. but. 
the way my time and my schedule works out, I got to get these reviews banged out, and then I got other projects that I'm working on. So if the food's not there, it's just not there, and we got to go and slot to the next spot. So I remember, I remember what the chili was hitting on at Capital Lunch before. I want to see if it got better. Mm, mm. Let's go ahead and take this thing to Yelp. Let me start by saying this spot is truly a staple in the New Britain community. Folks love coming here for the exact thing that I still have an issue with years later, but they love it. An acquired taste. Possibly, but let us start with the other options that I went with first. Like their smash grilled cheese, and I call it smash for reminding me much of just that. Imagine a grilled cheese pressed down far as possible, and that is never an issue. Actually, I did prefer the crispiness here, and the cheese was just okay. A decent butter blend, well suited for its position here, and it was of a nice size. I am probably more into the cheesy, gooey grilled cheese activity, and this particular version did not give me that. Just the bare bones run of the mill grilled cheese that you would make at home, if at all. You can order chili by the pint here, but that will come frozen for you to heat up later at home. And so I went to try their chili dog just to get at their chili in hopes of some subtle changes. But just like years ago, it fell short of what I have known chili to be. Again, this version comes with an acquired taste that I have yet to acquire, even living here for a few years. The chili does not have a spicy roundhouse kick at all. It actually goes in for the kick, misses and falls flat upon its own face. You will, however, get this lightly oily film and some grit. The mouthfeel on this chili does not boast anything hearty, but someone playing a cruel and unusual joke upon your taste buds. All of this onto a hot dog that does have great snap and good flavor. Toss in that soft bun of fun. The hot dog itself is good, but that chili just does not do it for me. The restaurant is clean, and again, you will always see a nice flow of customers. Mix that with an awesome staff that are very welcoming, and you simply have a great place to keep coming back to at the end of the day. And so, like, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that carry this old mom and pop through that, again, you know, when you are made to feel welcome, no matter what establishment you step foot into, you want to go back because they're like, yo, boom, let me take care of you. Do you need anything else? Welcome. Thank you for stopping in. And then on your way out, hey, take care, see you later. Like, that right there is usually enough to say, I will always feel welcome here. Regardless what walk of life I'm coming from, this is a family vibe. That chili, however, though people in New Britain, they rave about it. You know, and I'm y'all know me. I'm not from New Britain. I'm from Stratford, Connecticut. I've been living in New Britain for years. I don't think the chili's any good. It hasn't been good the first time I had it. Still not good today. Like, again, you saw the kind of chili that I like. We saw that in another video. It was hearty. It was thick. It was rich. It was savory. It was spicy, right? Those beans soft. It was, it was beefy. Like, it was just talking to me when I was hitting those onions mixed in with the melted gooey cheese. Like, that's a good chili. This right here was just like that chili. It was like, ugh, chili. Like, mm, don't, don't touch me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Type chili. So, that's just my vibe on it. What do you guys think is coming next? We did the best, now we did the worst when it comes to this chili game. What food do you think is coming up next? And don't think I don't hear y'all when y'all want me to hit some ethnic foods too. I already got that on the list. I'm gonna hold you down. We're gonna try to hit every background of food out there in the game that I might happen to have out here in Connecticut. I got y'all covered like blankets, you hear what I'm saying to you? But uh, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow with another best and worst rated restaurant right here in my state. She made me a Dame Drops. Keep it crispy.